We've been looking around Akiba all day and now it's time to go and get something to eat. We're gonna go and find Coco Curry, which I'm really looking forward to because they do a vegetarian curry sauce now. And usually I don't get to try Japanese curry, so it's gonna be good to have it for the first time. Here we are at Coco Curry. They've got an English menu. And this menu book is pretty long. It's got some other languages at the back as well. And it's got all the options for choosing your curry. You choose the sauce, the quantity of rice, and your spice level or mildness level, and then your toppings. And I've gone for the vegetarian curry, this one, with cheese topping, and we've got a potato salad on the side. Which one did you pick, Bill? The pork. pork cutlet curry. And um, which spice level did you pick? Uh, two. Two. And it goes up to ten. <laughs> you can only have above five. <laughs> You're not allowed above five unless you've already finished a whole serving of number five. I see, I think I could have five, but I didn't want to ruin my meal. Just if, it's, if it was actually that spicy. <laughs> number five says, not for the faint-hearted, consider the consequences. <laughs> Normally I like spicy food, but that might be too much. <laughs> and on the table we've got uh, some water here, uh, serviettes and tissues. What's this? It says sauce some type of sauce, looks like soy sauce. Menu, you see this car. Arigato. Arigato. I'm not sure what this is yet. Something. Some more curry sauce. Toothpicks. Kare. I'm not sure what that is either. <laughs> <laughs> and some pickles. Is it spicy? <laughs> it is quite spicy actually. Yeah. <coughs> I'm glad I didn't go far. <laughs> I can see the cheese there. And here's the potato salad. And here's mine. I think I made a bit of an error with ordering because I wanted the one with the vegetables in. I've just got normal. But it looks like, well, it's hard to tell if it's the vegetarian one. Hopefully it is. <laughs> and it's got the cheese in as well. It's pretty big actually. And it smells really good. These pickles are really good. They're a bit like the um, pickles you get at Wagamama with the char han. They're really good with the rice. The cheese gives the curry a really good texture. Although Phil wishes he hadn't had it. It's nice but I think it's a bit too much after a while. The potato salad has got um, potatoes, mayonnaise, uh, some sweet corn and some grated carrot in there. It's pretty creamy, really nice. And I think the error I made is I should have ordered some vegetables as a topping because mine doesn't really have a centerpiece. <laughs> it's just the sauce with the curry. So if I came here again, I'd definitely get the vegetables as a topping at the end as well as the cheese. That was really good. Um, Japanese curry is not like Indian curry, it's more of a gravy style curry and the cocoa curry was pretty similar to the sauce that you get on katsu curry. I think cocoa curry is a bit of a fast foody place but I did really enjoy that meal and it was somewhere that I really wanted to try. I'm glad I had the cheese in the sauce because it gave it more of a texture but if I ordered it again I would definitely get the vegetables as a topping which is what I tried to order but it went kind of wrong because I just had the rice and the sauce and it would be nice for it to have more of a, a centerpiece to the meal. How was yours Phil? Uh, it was good, I probably wouldn't have the cheese again, it just made it all a bit too cheesy and after a while that's all you could taste in the curry. I love uh, the cheese. Yeah. <laughs> the, the pork was good though, uh, so that's good and the portion was massive and I just had the regular size rice but you can keep adding more and more and more if you want it. Um, the spiciness was good, I went for 2 out of 10 above regular uh, and I'd say that was pretty spicy. It's still comfortable but I think a lot spicier than a lot of people I know would handle. So if you read the description next to it, it says, uh, you know, level one is this, part, level two is, read those because they are pretty accurate and if you went for like 10, I'm pretty sure you'd die. It's, <laughs> two was quite hot. I reckon 
five would be too much. I would like to go for much of a three, I think. Not for the faint-hearted. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's good it actually is spicy because so often you see the little chilli symbols on a menu saying that something's spicy and you order it and then it's not at all. Yeah, in the so. UK we often buy things that have like, oh, this is hot, or it has three out of three chilies, and can't really taste the spice. But uh, so. cocoa curry is the real deal. Yeah. <laughs> it's spicy. And I am so full up now. It was a pretty big portion. And the bill uh, came to just less than 2,000 yen for the two meals, one side and one drink, which is pretty cheap. Although it is a fast food place here, so you'd expect it wouldn't be too expensive. Yeah, it's, it's not the best atmosphere, but it's great for just going in and grabbing a curry. And it's something Amy wanted to try because of the vegetarian curry, so we thought, well worth doing. It's really unusual to find vegetarian curry sauce in Japan. Most of them are made with meat stock or with bits of meat ground up in them. Um, so it's really good that Coca Curry are doing vegetarian curry sauce but they've only got it in one in ten of their branches in 10% of them and the list of the branches that have the vegetarian curry is all in Japanese and I did try and translate it but it's pretty difficult I was using a screenshot of the PDF on my phone and Google Translate and trying to match it up with Google Maps and it was just a nightmare but I did find a list of a couple of major branches that have them including this one which is Akihabara Showadori and I'll put the ones that I do know definitely have it on my website and this one and the other couple of ones that I've seen have a sign on the door or um, on the sign outside saying we have vegetarian curry and you can always ask them when you go in. Bye.